first you need to know the location of the vCenter logs. Once you log into the vCenter using Putty, the location is slash where slash log VMware VPXD VPXD dot log. Here is the location of the log file. Did we discuss agents inside the vSphere? So this is the location of log you need to check. It is log, sorry, slash where, slash log, VMware, VPHD, VPHD log. From Putty, here itself, CD, change directory to slash where, slash log, slash VMware, VPHD, enter. You're already, you're already in VPHD folder. We're already entering to inside the VPHD folder, then LS. You can see what are the data that is presented. There are a lot of files are there. We need this one, vpxd.log file. How to open? If you are a Linux person, you can type less. Just open this file and you can see page by page. Like you can read this data and try to understand. As we cannot understand with this information, Okay, so we can geographical method also you can collect. This is the location. If you want to read the logs or extract the logs, just collect the logs. Okay, first step connect to vCenter using which tool? vCenter is a Linux machine. You want to copy to data from Linux to Windows. Anyone from remote? Which tool we use copy data between Linux to Windows, Windows to Linux? WinSCP. Yes, WinSCP is the tool we use to copy the data from Linux to Windows, Windows to Linux. If it is Windows to Windows, like we go here, Like go to data, right? Like right click, copy, and paste it in the new lab, new location, new Windows machine. If it is Linux, they use command. But how to copy between Linux to Windows? Like right now, here, I want to copy this log file. Okay, this is Linux machine. I want to copy it to Linux Windows machine. How to copy the, this file completely? It's not possible from here. So you need to have a tool called WinSCP. I have already downloaded and installed in my laptop. You need to download and install. Click that link in a CP. It is asking me to upgrade. I don't want to upgrade. Okay. So here you need to enter the vCenter IP. Same like Putty. How we connected to Putty, you need to connect. Username root and password. Login. Yes. It's giving some trouble. In real time also, you, any problem, not only this connecting to vCenter. In vCenter also, you are getting, if you are getting any problem, okay, any kind of issue. We'll see, like, now we'll try to understand how to fix, help yourself, okay, you don't, without depending on anybody, how to help yourself. Now, in this case also, it's something new. You don't know how to fix it, okay? Just try to copy the error message as it is, however it is on the display, on the screen, like received to large SFTP pocket and match supported pocket size It's something like just copy that information, paste in the Google. Okay. So normally we are trying to connect to vCenter, right? All right. You can. 
here itself v center you will get kb.vmware.com official vmware website to fix this problem open that kb symptoms yes it is exactly matching our problem okay so we are getting the same problem 1002400 bytes cause if you want to understand why it happened read it the issue occurs when the default shell used for root account has changed from bash to appliance okay now resolution how to fix it connect to the uh, vcenter using putty and write try, they are asking us to run this command we have already connect putty session already is there from here just type I have typed the command next one try now reconnect now it's connected okay simple as simple as that i help myself so without depending on anybody you can find the same way based on the error message copy and paste in the google okay just try to find correct kb match with symptom first if you want to understand why it happened just for your knowledge read it then try to fix it using resolution steps now I have connected to the Linux machine from my Windows machine. Left side of the screen, the screen is now splitted, right? This wizard is splitted into two things. Left side is my Windows machine from where I have connected. Right side is my Linux machine to which machine I have connected. Right side, I have connected to the vCenter machine, Linux machine only. Left side, I have connected to the Windows machine. Desktop, I have connected to the desktop. Desktop, I have connected to the files. I have connected to the desktop. Okay, so files are visible here. This is a Linux machine. Now double click here, you can see files. The path is slash var var log vmware vpxd. If it is command line, I have to do cd space var like this. If it is Windows machine, normally we know like var. This is the folder. Click on it. Log folder. Click on it. Vmware vpxd here it is here you can see the log files vpxd dot log file here however you see in linux machine you can see in like a folder only you can see with like a windows machine folder you can access it now you need to copy this file from linux to windows just hold with left click drag and drop or you can say right click copy and here right click paste also you can do is copied already to my desktop here you can see this is a vcenter log i have collected from my linux vcenter to windows vcenter understood how to copy the linux file okay now if i want to read normally you can open with wordpad and see it's a human readable english make uh, match your timeline when you have okay uh, when is the problem occurred and try to understand the problem. Let's say if there is any problem in the V center, control F, when right, while there is a problem is creating, right? The logs will be written with an error, warning, date, or fail, this kind of error messages. Like error, date, fail. Okay, this kind of messages will be written in the log file. When you have a problem, you have an object, V center, host, VM, problem. Our respective 